Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Real Time Board, which is a great tool for creating collaborative online brainstorming sessions and recording those sessions. Now, there is an education version available. You have to fill out a form for the education version. You can find it at Real Time Board slash education. I'm going to go ahead and log in here to my Real Time Board account. You can see there I can use my Google account if I want to or my Facebook account, but in this case I'm just using a regular sign-in. Now the neat thing about Real-Time Board is that there are a bunch of different uh, templates that we can pick from. So if we go into the Create section, we say Create a New Board. I'm using the I'm using right now just a mind map here, but I can also pick a no want learn chart or a random words chart. You can pick all kinds of templates here. Uh, you know, I'm in the brainstorming and no note taking section, but we have visual planning, canvases, agile, service and product design, business strategy. And I have it selected so that every time I create, it shows me this menu of options. So let's go ahead and we'll use a no want learn chart. And let's say over here on the left hand side, I'm going to add a little sticky note. I'm going to put my sticky note here. And I might say, I want to know what the best barbecue in Texas, or which say where the best barbecue in Texas is. So that's what I want to know. And we'll move that. You can see I can move the whole board around, center up the whole thing. I can change my font. Use a different font style. I have it set to automatic, so it automatically expands and contracts to fit the space allotted. You can see I can move the entire note, make that note smaller if I want to. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some other tools we can use. So I also have a drawing tool. Let's say I want to show connections between things. I could go in and I could draw a connection. We also add comments. So I want to add a comment out here on the on the left hand side of the paper. I could put in a comment. Say this is a vague question. And when I collaborate with someone else, we can reply to each other's comments that are out in the margins. See, I also have tools for boxes and just and a tool for just writing text. So I might say, my trip to Texas, and the name over here, Richard. Okay. Now, if I want people to collaborate with me, go over here to the share button, and we'll name my board. We'll save it. And now we can pull in anyone from my Gmail contacts if I want to. Or I can put in an email address of anyone with whom I want to collaborate. And if that person does not have a real time board account, they'll be asked to create one in order to collaborate. So I might put in max at freetechforteachers.com. And say, please collaborate with me. And you can see here, just like in Google Documents, I can say the, the person can edit, comment, or just view my mind map. And we're done. And so that's a quick overview of Real-Time Board and how you might use it to collaborate with your students and to host online brainstorming sessions. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.